my darlings, I hope you're all doing very, very well. I hope you're sitting comfortably, you are cosy, and you have your snacks and your beverages at the ready, and you're all snuggled up and cosy. Yes? Okay, great. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a content creator by the name of Ash. I have definitely reacted to her content before in my Tattoo Enthusiast Reacts to Tattoo TikToks. I'm pretty sure I reacted to one of her TikToks where she got her neck and, like, face tattooed. Her neck tattoo basically goes up onto her face, so it's quite a you know, big uh, tattoo. Ash's content is normally on the lifestyle front and she has a love for Hello Kitty. Good morning, everyone. Here's to another day of Hello Kitty and juicy couture hunting. No, I mean a love for Hello Kitty. And then I also have this tote bag with me because I have a package in here that I need to ship out. No, I don't think you understand, okay? She is obsessed with Hello Kitty. And there's no shame in that, boo. Absolutely not. If you like what you like, then that's fine. As long as you're not hurting anyone, then who cares? Like, you know, Hello Kitty's pretty cute, in my opinion. I mean, I'm feeling very Hello Kitty right now. I'm pretty pink. And as you can probably tell, Ash is pretty visibly and heavily tattooed and with an array of piercings also. She's very much a alternative kind of gal. Anyway, Ash uploaded a TikTok a couple of days ago talking about how hard it is to find a job. The caption of this TikTok says, I want to know who is also having a hard time finding a job right now. Ash starts off by saying that she applied for a job at TJ Maxx. For those of you in the UK, it is called TK Maxx, but it's the same kind of company. Honestly, TK Maxx is my favourite store um because they do the best halloween decor and christmas decor and the candles are always freaking amazing i am a candle hoarder it's a problem okay like anytime i go anywhere near a tk maxx i have to go in it's quite a problem anyway we're not here for candles so i wanted to come on here and talk about something that is really starting to annoy me so i applied for a job at tj maxx a few weeks ago and they denied my application. They couldn't even call me. They just sent me some automated email. So I went in today and I was like, so what was the reason I didn't get hired? And she was like, oh, like you just like don't have enough experience. There was candidates that had like more experience than you. She then goes on to ask if the real reason as to why she hasn't been employed is because of her tattoos. And, you know, I asked her if it was about my tattoos, obviously, because I know a lot of places don't like tattoos. She said that wasn't the reason. I don't feel like that's true, but whatever, I'll leave it at that. Now, I think it's fair if I say the majority of us, even though we are very much team tattoo and alternative and doing whatever you want to your body, okay? I think a lot of us kind of had the thought of, mm, it's probably the tattoos because even though we know there's nothing wrong with it, that doesn't mean the rest of society doesn't have a problem with it or think negatively on it. Even though tattoos nowadays are way more accepted than they were 10 years ago, there are still businesses and employers that have issues for whatever reason with tattoos, whether you are heavily tattooed or not. Some people are very anti-tattoo, even if you have like the tiniest little butterfly on your wrist, okay? So yeah, not everyone is accepting or understands it. And obviously I find these people incredibly shallow-minded. Like you need to get a grip, you need to go and touch some grass because it's so obvious that just because someone has some ink on their skin, okay? Some metal through their face, colourful hair or whatever, okay, doesn't mean that they cannot do their job, okay? It doesn't alter the way someone is capable of doing a job. I don't know how nobody understands this, especially in 2024, but sadly that's just the way life is. We as alternative people have to understand that, that not everyone or every business is accepting of alternativeness and this is why I think it's super important for us to really think about our life choices before we commit to such permanentness especially with the tattoos piercings you can take out hair you can re-dye it or wear a wig with tattoos unless you want to spend hours covering them up with makeup if you want a high profile job where they don't allow tattoos or a customer facing job where that business doesn't allow tattoos you just 
yeah. We'll get back to the tattoos and employment in a moment. Ash then goes on to talk about how younger people don't really stand a chance when it comes to employment. So... I'm just wondering how, like, teenagers and young adults who haven't had a job before, um, how are they supposed to get employed if these places are only hiring people with experience? So younger people just can't get a job because they haven't worked enough? So, like, they'll deny a 16-year-old a job because they don't have enough work experience. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's sadly been this way for years and years and years and years. It was at least like this when I was younger. I'm 34 for those that care or want to know how old I am. <laughs> but like 12 years ago when I was trying to get a job in retail, it was so incredibly hard that I ended up volunteering at a charity shop for about two, three months just so I can have that retail experience on my CV. And I had customer service experience before this. I worked in a hair salon and like a nightclub and stuff like that. You know, I had customer service experience, but I just could not get into a retail space. And no, it wasn't because of how I looked before any trolls start being all like keyboard warrior. I started getting visibly tattooed when I was much older. But once I got that retail experience on my CV, I ended up landing a job in a department store. Rest in peace, Debenhams. Well, it's still online, but <laughs> I did work in Debenhams for six years. And then I quit in 2018 to do content creation a bit more seriously and put way more effort into it and all of that. Cause I was doing it before, but wasn't putting much effort into it or taking it seriously. But yeah, back in 2012, when I was struggling to get a job, it, it was like how Ash said it was. It was really, really hard. And I can imagine it's still like that and probably even worse now. Ash then goes on to talk about her financial situation and just asking if anyone else is struggling to find work. I do okay with money as is, so I didn't like need the job, but I would have liked it to have made some extra money so I could pay off my debt quicker. I want you guys to talk about in the comments what it's been like for you finding a job recently, like if it's been easy or if it's been difficult. And I wanna know like what kind of experience you guys have because I want to see if I'm the only person that's like experiencing this right now or not. I mean, I can say for definite, like a hundred percent, there are so many other people struggling to get a job right now. There are potentially hundreds of people going for the exact same job. And if you live in a small town or a large city, basically no matter where you live, getting a job is difficult. And the sad thing is, employers will always go for the most experience because they want to pay as little as they can but get the most for their money. So who are they going to pick? Laura Lou with 10 years experience or Mandy Sue with no experience? They're going to go with the person with 10 years experience, aren't they? Because, you know, that costs less. It doesn't take as much time because you have to train Mandy Sue. Why would you pick Mandy Sue over... What was the other name I didn't use? I don't know. But like, employees are just gonna pick the more experienced one. So that makes it even harder for younger people to get a job because they don't have the experience. It's just, ugh, it's tough. Anyway, I'm a tattoo related channel. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the job market anymore. I'm sure you're very bored with my opinions on that. Anyway, Ash does then go on to mention her tattoos again in this TikTok. And you know, I hate that my tattoos are such a defining factor for me getting a job or not. Like, just because I have tattoos doesn't mean I'm not going to be a good worker. Like, I just, I do not understand that at all. I'm with Ash 100% of the way right here. In fact, alternative people end up working harder because they feel like they have to prove themselves to the customers and to the employers because they don't want to fit that old school stereotype that all tattooed people are delinquents, lazy, not helpful, scary, and all of those other things that tattooed people get labeled. The majority of us are in fact very nice people, very soft, and um, you know, wouldn't hurt a fly. It's honestly 100% in employers best interest to hire alternative people, trust me. But some won't because, well, you know, judgment. So there's that. It's very clear that Ash has a drive to want to work, you know, especially as she went to TJ Maxx to be like, hey, like, what's up? Why didn't I get the job kind of thing? A lot of people won't do that, especially me. My, like, my family, when I was looking for a job, we're always like, oh, you've got to, you know, chase them up and go to these places and be annoying and like, <sighs> social anxiety. No, I don't want to. I don't want them to like, look at me and think, you know, 
I'm being weird or whatever, you know? Like, it takes guts to follow things up. I could be wrong, but I've seen that, like, in Europe, like, people with tattoos and piercings can get jobs, like, way easier there. So why is America not hopped on the bandwagon? Now, I can't speak for all of Europe, obviously, because I only live in the UK, so I, I, I've never lived anywhere else other than the UK. Um, but it honestly just depends on where you live. If you live in a major city like Manchester, London, Liverpool, then yeah, you should be okay getting a retail job with tattoos for the most part, depending on the brand or the company or whatever. Or if you live in a like uni town like Leeds or Leicester or wherever else those unis, I don't know, I didn't go. <laughs> Um, you might be okay also because a lot of younger people live in those towns so you know tattoos are accepted by the majority of younger people so it's all good but if you live in a small conservative town or something like that mm, you might struggle a little bit but again it just depends on so many different factors. Ash then ends the video like this. Sorry for the long ranting video but I just feel like this is something that needs to be talked about. It's so annoying and for anyone that is looking for a job right now that is younger and doesn't have experience, I truly wish you the best of luck because it is very hard out here right now. She truly does seem like a very sweet person, um, to the core anyway. It, it does change a little bit because she obviously does get backlash for this and she does kind of change her tune a little bit, unfortunately. Um, but we'll get to that in a moment. Now, like I was just saying, Ash has been pretty badly roasted by a lot of people because of, um, I think it's more of like an ignorance thing, like a not so aware of what the situation is, you know? I don't know. Um, but people are like, it's very obvious um, why you're not being employed. And um, people are being kind of mean, which I don't obviously condone. And there are some comments that I do kind of agree with again i'm very much on ash's side and any alternative person's side as you as you can tell okay thank you but there's this comment it says i'm a tattoo artist of 15 years you have to have a set career path before you go big on face and throat tattoos and i somewhat agree with this like a little bit and i think this is quite an important discussion topic now ash is 23 i think it does say 23 on her tiktok profile and her um Instagram bio situation. There's a number 23, okay? Either way, she is quite young. She is quite heavily tattooed for a 23 year old, in my opinion. Is she the most tattooed 23 year old I've ever seen? No, but is she one of the most heavily tattooed people at 23? Probably. Now, like I always say, it's Ash's body, it's her choice. She can do whatever the hell she wants with it. And that applies to absolutely everybody. That being said, in my opinion, some actions have consequences, okay? And while I don't agree with people not hiring people with tattoos or visible tattoos or whatever, obviously, like I have said, sadly, that's just the way the world works sometimes. And as an alternative person, you just have to deal with that. I've mentioned a couple of times as of recently about how social media has really changed the way people get tattooed. A lot of people just don't take it so seriously anymore because of social media. You know, you see all of these heavily tattooed people on social media and you end up living in this bubble of like, oh, well, all of these people are tattooed. So that means, you know, it's fine. They're clearly doing all right for themselves. You know, they're in a house, they're filming TikToks, but you don't even think about like, where do they live? Do they live in a major city? Are they rich? <laughs> do mummy and daddy have money? Or do they have their own business? Like you forget about all those other factors. You just see these tattooed people living their best life and you think, oh, well they can do it. Why can't I? Not even like 10 years ago, a lot of people wouldn't have been as tattooed as they are today. Social media has 100% changed the tattoo industry. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, right? You know, Ash said something along the lines of, you know, people in Europe can get jobs with tattoos, you know, so why can't I, why can't the US be like that? This is, to me, a prime example of someone doing something without doing research. You know, if she looked into the way people perceive tattoos, where she is, and, you know, even just walking around retail and seeing if anyone has tattoos in the retail spaces around her. That gives you an indication of whether places of work near you like to employ people with tattoos. If you don't see anyone with tattoos, the answer is no. Obviously not everyone is tattooed. Well, actually, no. I think it's now one in three people have a tattoo. It used to be one in four. When I first started doing content creating, 
but I'm pretty sure it's one in three people have a tattoo now. So but yeah, you really have to do your due diligence before you do something so extreme. And I know to a lot of tattooed people, face tattoos, throat tattoos, hand tattoos aren't extreme anymore because we see it all the time on social media or in our friend group or whatever. But outside of our own little bubble, Throat and face and hand tattoos are still pretty dang extreme to normal people. They're kind of scary to a lot of people, which obviously I know is stupid, but just hear me out. There's two sides to this, isn't there? But I will always stand by the fact that you have to think so long and hard about doing the extreme side of tattooing. You know, getting an arm tattoo or a leg tattoo, eh. You don't have to put too much thought into that, you can hide them. But with visible tattoos, you have to think about it because that is a lifelong commitment. And I know you can like do laser, but laser doesn't work instantly. You know, you have to wait about a year to two years for that thing to be gone. It's not a instant process. Getting visibly tattooed is a huge commitment and we should not forget about that. I thought long and hard about getting my hands tattooed, like for years. If you've been watching me for years, then you would have known that because I'm pretty sure I tried out temporary tattoos on my hands before I even did um, hand tattoos. Like I had little finger tattoos, but little finger tattoos are nothing, well, so some people might think they're big, huge commitments, but to me, finger tattoos are, are nothing. But yeah, I didn't get my first big hand tattoos until I was 29. And then I got my neck tattooed when I was 30. Both of these were not easy decisions for me at all. I did have to think about it long and hard. I did all of these visible tattoos after two years of being self-employed. And the thing is, Lord only knows YouTube and social media could just fall off the planet, okay? And I would be jobless. But after thinking about it long and hard, that was the risk I was willing to take and I know one day I'll have to look for a normal job again you know you, content creating might not be in my um path life path forever because you know people get bored or or you know YouTube might shut down or whatever I don't know you never know what happens in life you can't guarantee anything but yeah I know getting a normal job will be pretty hard for me but I'm okay with that and I'm very much aware of that so yes I kind of somewhat agree that you need to have some kind of career or job before you start getting heavily tattooed but then on another front I'm like who knows what's gonna happen you know you could be in that very secure career to start off with but then what if you lose that career people lose their jobs all the time so that's why i think it's super important that you think about your tattoos and the risks that come with them because if you don't and you end up jobless and then you have these tattoos holding you back you do not want to resent them trust me you don't want to have something on your skin that you hate and you resent because that can just eat you up inside so you need to be okay with your life choices and think about it really dang hard before you make the commitment. That's it, that's what I need to say. Anyway, back to Ash's TikTok, there is other comments. There's this one that says carnival worker, which is, <laughs> I mean, it's not the 1920s anymore, but okay. Just because you think it's okay doesn't mean everyone else does, which I agree with, you know. Obviously, I don't agree with people not thinking it's okay, but I agree that, you know, that's just the way the world works. A hiring lady just did a video regarding highly visible tattoos. She said it shows a lack of impulse control and stuff like that, which again, I obviously don't agree with because not everyone with tattoos has impulse control, but I can see why employers may think that way. Perhaps she now understands there is something called bias which is very true, even though employers are in a professional setting and they shouldn't have their own bias or what have you, you know, because that's not professional at all, they're going to, sadly. I wouldn't hire you because of your tattoos, sorry, but a workplace has the right to refuse you because of that. They do and they don't, like, it's kind of discrimination, really, and I know there is much worse discrimination than tattoo discrimination, you know, you have race discrimination, gender discrimination, sexuality discrimination, but... The world sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> I have tattoos. When we get tattoos, we have to think about tattoo placement for future reasons like jobs. A lot of professional jobs don't want face tattoos, which I wholeheartedly agree with this. You just have to think about your placements before diving into it. You know, a lot of professional jobs will still not hire people with face tattoos. I feel like hand tattoos are becoming a lot more accepted but face tattoos are still very like, 
uh, that's one reason why I haven't done a face tattoo as of yet. I mean, I don't know if I ever will. I think if I was to ever, I've said this before year, for years and years, if I was to ever, it'd probably just be like a little sideburn tattoo just here of like a rose. I know, Lauren, seriously, another rose tattoo. Do you need another one? But I just like roses, okay? And I think a little rose with like a stem here would be just so freaking adorable. I've never had a problem getting a job and I have tons of tattoos, but not on my face and my tats are flowers and birds. And there's another comment on this kind of front that says, the type of tattoos you have will cause it hard for you. I think that means the type of tattoos that she has will make it harder for her to get a job because she does have quite um, gothic-y horror satanic tattoos which is very much a imagery that i love i'm not saying it's a bad thing you know me i love my horror tattoos but that is definitely something to take note of be careful what you get tattooed on you because you know you could be heavily tattooed like me and i don't really have anything horror going on up here it's just like flowers and stuff my legs are a different story <laughs> but having floral tattoos are not as intimidating as what Ash has. And in my world, a tattoo is a freaking tattoo, no matter what it is. But to other people, you know, scary tattoos make visible tattoos even more um, obnoxious and scary, as opposed to, you know, the softer things like flowers, butterflies, birds, and all of that, you know? And then this comment is quite interesting. It says, gonna show this to my kids in 10 years when they say they want tattoos, which honestly, I think you should. I know that this person is doing it in a negative way to be like, this is why you don't get tattoos, kids, you end up jobless. But I think it's educational to show people stuff like this also. Like I know this person's been an asshole, but it's kind of like, well, yeah, you know, like make people aware of what could happen if you have a lot of tattoos. Anyway, the next day Ash uploaded a TikTok discussing the comments that she had gotten on the TikTok that we had just watched. And um, this is where things start to take a turn. Because when I first watched the first TikTok, I was just like, oh, Ash is like super sweet. She's so lovely. And I feel kind of bad for her. Oh, she kind of like ruined that a little bit by, just watch. Um, You guys miss the point of that video entirely. I don't need that job at TJ Maxx. I make plenty of money. If I didn't make enough money, I would not be able to afford a Dodge Challenger that has a almost $500 monthly payment. I have thousands of dollars worth of artwork on my body. I have $7,000 breast implants and I have about $3,000 of filler in my face. And it's crazy, it's like, you need to have money to do those things. Now, I get the frustration of people absolutely rinsing people for their life choices and all of that. It can be really frustrating and it can make you um, lash out a little bit, I understand. But to not so humbly brag about everything you have and how you don't actually need a job, to me is so out of touch. I couldn't believe what I witnessed when I watched this to start off with, I was just like, Hang on a second, <laughs> like, what? Like I was saying, Ash seems like a very sweet girl, um, but this kind of vibe isn't gonna get her very far. Like, I, it just gave me the ick a bit. I was just like, oh, like, have we ever heard of the word humble? <laughs> and I feel like it's absolutely fine to talk about your accomplishments and what you've achieved and what you've bought. You're, it's fine to do that. But when it's in relation to how tough the job market is and not being able to find a job and there's loads of people watching your content that can't find a job and you're out here being like, oh, well, you know, I have all of this. It's a bit of a bold move to me. Like people are fighting for these jobs to feed themselves. And I know that's not Ash's problem, but it's just a bit out of touch. Just, is it just me? It might just be me, but I was a bit like, ooh. Ash then goes on to talk about the fact that her first TikTok was basically bait and she knew how it was gonna go. But you know, I posted that video because I knew I was gonna get exactly those kind of reactions. <laughs> And there's people saying, oh, it's because of your satanic tattoos. So if it is about my satanic tattoos, that's religious discrimination, which it's illegal to discriminate against someone based off of their religious beliefs. 
And appearance has nothing to do with work skills. For someone that is so confident about life and tattoos, it's just wild that it's not clicking, that that's just the way the world works. It's judgmental to everybody, not just people with tattoos. There's other walks of life that have this type of judgment and sometimes way worse. She should have known this before she got tattooed. Like what kind of fairyland is she in? Honestly, like I started getting tattooed um, I'm doing the maths, hang on. Oh my god, I, I, I math too hard. I started getting tattooed like 16 years ago, I think. Let me just, hang on. I need to work this out with a calculator because there's no way. I'm sorry, there's just no way it was 16 years ago. That's disgusting. I need a lay down. What? Um, so I'm 34. Oh, it is 16 years! <laughs> I started getting tattooed 16 years ago. But when I started getting tattooed 16 years ago, I even knew back then, okay, in 2008, that visible tattoos equals no job, zero job back then, okay? Visible tattoos equals you're either a singer, a musician, or a tattoo artist, or basically a man. Yeah, a man. Because it's okay for men to be visibly tattooed. Um, just throwing it out there. Um, if you don't believe me, just look at red carpets you know, Oscars or whatever, where's the famous heavily tattooed women on the red carpets? There's like none. And that always trickles down into, you know, normal jobs. What's happening in La La Land, Celebrity Land, happens in normal land. Men heavily tattooed can get a job pretty easily. Women with tattoos, no. But yeah, anyway, 16 years ago, I was very much aware that people with tattoos equals bad worker. You know, you wouldn't get employed if you had visible tattoos. So I don't understand how someone that's getting tattooed now, you know, not 16 years ago, now doesn't understand that. I mean, again, it's probably the social media bubble. So yeah, that's maybe why. So oh, funny because it's always like older generations that say that younger people are the ones that get all triggered and stuff the most when um I think it's quite literally the opposite and old people are in my comments saying that they're afraid of me good I'm glad I don't want to be around you <laughs> Um, old people are quite literally the reason why the United States is in quite literal chaos right now. All of these politicians literally look like they're about to take their last breath. I mean, with peace and love, she's not really wrong on that front, is she? She's, she's not wrong. Um, so we'll let her have that. But it's not just older people calling her out and trying to tell her that sometimes a lot of tattoos is just too much for a lot of employers. Like, it's not a generational thing here at all. It's an opinion shared by all walks of life. And of course, like I have said, I don't agree with it. I don't agree that you shouldn't be, you know, hiring people based on what they look like, but just like I'm entitled to my opinions, so are other people. So, bottom line, um, everyone missed the whole point of that video. Um, I don't need that job. I make enough money. So, yeah. I am gonna go enjoy my day getting some Starbucks and shopping. Oh, God. Like, it's the doubling down for me. You know, it's the fact that she just applied for a job even though she doesn't want it or need it. Like, who does that? Who takes a job from people that actually need it? You know, there could be a single mother trying to get the job that she's after and she's just doing it because she wants extra money. I just wanted the job to make more money. It's just, and it doesn't end there. It just, it just doesn't end there. Um, she carries on in the comments. I have a car loan equals I have money. In what world? And then she says, I can afford $500 payment on time, actually, two months in advance. All those possessions just bring your spending habits and judgment into question. They don't reflect well. It shows that I make money to spend, though. This one I agree with. It says, money talks, wealth whispers, which is true. I feel, you know, maybe I watched too much Succession or something, but I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even finish Succession. I really should do that. Anyway, she has money, guys. Didn't you hear? <laughs> and then someone says, who side hustles with TJ Maxx? <laughs> but honestly, a side hustle at TJ Maxx is actually pretty lit, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, I would be fired within like two days because all I would be doing is sniffing candles. Okay, I wouldn't be helping nobody. I'd just be sniffing. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, I feel like this story has two sides to it. The, oh, that's so sad that she couldn't get a job because of the way she looked and all of the tattoos. And you know, you really need to think about these choices, but it's sad that you have to think about these choices and it just sucks all round. And it's a good learning curve for anybody else thinking about getting visible tattoos. You know, think about where you live, what your career choices are gonna be in the future. And obviously you can't guarantee anything in life, but you've got to do at least a little bit of research into what you're doing with your life at times, you know? This is also a reminder for employers just to do a bit better, you know? Tattooed people are not scary people for the most part. Obviously, you know, like with every walks of life, there's good and bad, but, but then the other side of this story is kind of like, well, I don't actually feel that bad for her anymore. Cause like, you know, like her attitude to this whole thing is a bit stinky. You know, like at first I was like, oh, it's genuine. She seems really sweet and she just wants some help and advice. And then <laughs> she's just like flexing like some kind of SoundCloud rapper. And I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on all of this. Have you ever struggled getting a job while being heavily tattooed? Or was that something you thought about before doing the heavily tattooed or you not getting heavily tattooed because of the career you're in now whatever you do for a job are they like nope no visible tattoos here honey sound off down below i'm very interested to see what you have to say anyway that is it for today's video i just want to say thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you all so much and until my next video bye